Hello everyone, welcome to Math Cognizant. This video is the discussion about the linear equations. An equation in which the variable or variables have an exponent of 1, that means the degree should be 1. Such type of equations are called as linear equations. Graph of such equations are always a straight line. Let's take some examples like x plus 2 is equals to 7. This is a linear equation which is having a power of 1 with variable x. 2x plus 3y is equals to 4. Here there are two variables x and y with the power of 1 and y equals to negative 2x plus 10. Even this is a linear equation because all of these examples are having the power of 1 or exponent with a degree 1. Here we have different forms of linear equation. Linear equations can be written in a slope intercept form which is having the formula y equals to mx plus b and next is the point slope form which is having the formula y, y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1 and the standard form which is ax plus by equals to c. We will go into detail about each of these um, forms with an example. So the first form we have here is the slope intercept form. Slope intercept form which comes with the formula y equals to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. y intercept means the point which is intersecting on the y axis in a graph and to find the slope we have uh, the formula that is change in y axis over the change in x axis. We need to simplify how many units y axis has been changed that is vertically moved and how many units x axis has been changed that is horizontally moved. So when you divide both of this we will get the slope. Let's take an example. This equation is in a slope intercept form because it is written as y equals to mx plus b. To uh, solve the equation with the slope intercept form, first we need to graph the y intercept. You know that y intercept is b in the equation. So here the value of b is equals to negative 3. So the first thing what we have to do is uh, write down the y intercept as well as the slope. So the value of slope. Uh, in a given equation is equals to 2. So slope is equals to 2 and y intercept equals to negative 3. First step what we need to do in the graph is place a dot on negative 3 that is the y intercept. The next step is to write down the slope. So as you know slope is rise over run that is change in y axis over change in x axis. So slope is given as 2. We need to write the denominator which is equals to 1. When you add 1 in the denominator then the value of any number doesn't change. It remains as it is. Since we needed a number in the denominator as well so we added the 1. So 2 over 1 that means you need to um, shift 2 points upward and 1 point towards the right side. So 2 points up, 1 point right. In this way when you have a slope with 2 you will shift 2 points up, 1 point left. Now the next step is to join all the points and make it a straight line. So when you um, join these points you will get a straight line like this and here the graph is positive that means whenever a graph is been moving from left moving upward from left hand side towards the right hand side that's from negative x axis towards the positive x axis if it's moving upward then it is called as positive slope next we have is the second form that's a standard form of linear equation Standard form of linear equation is given by ax plus by equals to c where x and y are on the same side of equal sign. The coefficient of x and y are integers and x and y itself are the variables. Um, there is 
C, constant C on the other side of the equal sign and these type of equations changed into slope intercept form or you can graph these type of equation by finding the x and y intercept. Let's change the standard form of this equation into slope intercept form. To do so, let's transfer ax on the other side of the equal it becomes negative ax then we need to divide both the side by the coefficient b so it's left with a negative a over b x plus c over b where negative a over b act as a slope and c over b will be considered as the y intercept so we can draw or plot the graph very easily when we have slope intercept form of the equation. Let's take an example uh, with both the options. The first one is changing the standard form into slope intercept form where we need to shift 2x to the other side of the equal sign. Therefore, we have negative 3y equals to negative 2x plus 6. Now, let's divide both the side of the equation by negative 3 as it's a coefficient of y. So, divided by negative 3, the equation will be y equals to positive 2 over 3 since negative divided by negative is positive y equals to positive 2 over 3x when negative divided by positive is negative negative 2 6 divided by 3 is 2 so this is the slope intercept form where slope is equals to 2 over 3 and negative 2 is the y intercept we will graph this equation after checking with the second option how to find find the intercepts. To find the intercepts we have to take two cases. The first one is when we are taking the value of y equals to 0 and substituting an equation. When we do so we will get x equals to 3 and in the second case we are taking the value of x equals to 0 and then we are going to find the value of y which is equals to negative 2. Eventually, we have uh, two points that is 0 and negative 2 and 3 and 0. Using these two points, we can graph the slope. So, when we have to plot the graph, let's write down the equation in slope intercept form, which we have done it in op first option. And also we will write down the points what we have calculated from the equation. So these are the points what we have received. 0 and uh, negative 2. And the other point was 3 and 0. Let's start with the slope intercept form. In the equation we can see the value of the slope that's m equals to 2 over 3 and the y-intercept is negative 2. Let me plot negative 2 first in the graph that's a y-intercept. Next point we have to do is for the slope. To um, find the slope as you know it is rise over run that is change in y-axis over change in x-axis. So change in y-axis that is moving upward is two points and change in x-axis are the three units so when you are changing it two points and three units you will get the same points as we have calculated in option two the second way where we are finding the points for the slope so this is the way you are going to draw the slope when you have equations in standard form and the next type of equations we have here is the point slope form how do you plot such type of equation when you have two points that's x1, y1 and x and y or you can consider it as x2, y2. 
So, sum of y minus y1 equals to the slope m times x minus x1. The slope is equals to 2 and the points in which the line passes through is uh, x1 and y1. So, y1 here is equals to 3 since uh, there is a negative sign in the formula also. So, x1 is positive 2 and y1 is positive 3 without the negative sign. And we have a slope as 2 and this information is enough for us to draw the graph. So, let's start plotting the graph. Put a point on 2 and 3 first and then go on plotting rise over run. Rise is 2 and run is 1. When we have to go down, make sure that you are going to point it down and then you are going to point it towards the left side. So, the slope can be uh, drawn in two different ways uh, using the rise over run. One we can move upward and towards the right side and the other one move downward and towards the left side. Here the graph is being shown. Uh, with the two points where you need to use it and find the slope. So, to find the slope you can use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The points here are x1 is 2 and y1 is 2 and x2 is 5 and y2 is also 5. Use this information and substitute the values of x1, y1, x2, y2 in the formula and find the slope. So, y2 is given as 5, x2 is also 5 and y1 is 2, 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus minus 2. So, you will get 3 over 3 which is equals to 1. So, the slope of these two points is equals to 1. Let's check few more questions about the linear equation uh, where you need to find the equation from one point and the point is given as 2 and 6 and where you need to find the y-intercept that's b. So, the equation is given as y equals to 5x plus b. To find the value of the y-intercept, we need to substitute the value of x and y, which is given in a form of the point. Value of x is uh, 2 and value of y is 6. So, substitute is 6 equals to negative 5 times 2 plus b. So, 5 times negative 5 times 2 is equals to negative 10. So, 6 equals to negative 10 plus b. We need to add 10 on both the side because we have to eliminate 10, negative 10 which is present along with the variable b. So, 10 and 10 get positive 10 and negative 10 get cancelled. So, 6 plus 10 gives you 16. So, the value of b is equals to 16. We can write this um, equation as y is equals to negative 5x plus 16. So, this is how you can write the equation. Next question we have is to find the slope when two points are given. Two points are given as 6 and 1 and negative 10 and 9. We need to find the equation of, we need to find the slope with these points. Let's consider x1 as 6, y1 as 1, x2 as negative 10 and y2 as 9. Now use the formula m equals to that slope is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's substitute the values of all these points. So 9 minus 1 divided by negative 10 minus 6. So 9 minus 1 equals to 8, negative 10 minus negative 6 gives you negative 16. When you have same, when you have uh, same signs, you are going to add the number and write down the sign. When you simplify it, you will get negative 1 over 2. So this is the slope when you have two points. Our next question here, it's uh, mm -hmm. to find the slope 
intercept form of a linear equation where the two points are being given. So, you know slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus b and we need to use the formula uh, to find the slope that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, substitute the value of x1 y1 in the formula of the slope and then find the value of slope. So, y2 is given as 6 minus y1 that is equals to 1 over x2 is 2 minus 6 minus of minus 6 that's equals to 6 minus 1 is 5 2 minus uh, when you have two negative signs you need to add okay so 2 plus 6 equals to 8 so 5 over 8 is the slope and the y-intercept is being we need to find the y-intercept by substituting one of the points in the above formula of uh, slope intercept form. So, we will take the second point where y is equals to 6 and x equals to 2. So, 6 equals to 5 over 8 times 2 plus b, 5 over 8, uh, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 divided by 8, when you simplify it, you will get 5 over 4 plus b where we need to find the value of b by subtracting 5 over 4 from both the side that becomes 6 minus 5 over 4 so use the lcm the least common denominator which is equals to 4 so 6 times 4 is 24 minus 5 equals to 4 that's equals to 19 divided by 4 uh, so the y-intercept is being calculated as 19 over 4. Now substitute the value of slope as well as the y-intercept in slope intercept form. That's equals to y is equals to 5 over 8 x plus 19 over 4. This is how we can find the slope intercept form when two points are being given. Until now, we have seen different forms of linear equation and how to solve them. Here are the types of slopes. There is positive slope, negative slope, undefined slope and zero slope. When a slope is getting a positive integer, we call it as a positive slope and it moves upward from left to right of the x-axis. So when the slope is moving in an upward direction from left of the x-axis towards the right of the x-axis, we call such type of slope as positive slope. Always you can follow the direction of the slope and decide whether it is positive or negative. Here you can see from left of the x-axis towards the light of the x-axis, the slope is going downward. The movement of the slope is in a downward movement, so it is called as a negative slope. And the third type of slope is the zero slope, which is uh, in a horizontal way. So whenever the slope is having zero, it's always parallel to the x-axis. It's the horizontal slope and it is parallel to the x-axis and we call it as a zero slope. And the last type is undefined slope. Undefined slope that goes straight up in the graph as the slope rises and uh, has no run. As a result, we get an undefined slope because we cannot divide by zero. In general, we always get an undefined slope whenever we get a straight vertical line. So these were the different types of slopes and different forms of the linear equations. Hope you understood this concept. Please like, subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos.